Welcome back to another Mimeo Studio Notebook tutorial. This tutorial is going to give you step-by-step -step directions for making what we call a magic slider. Magic sliders are really simple, easy tools that allow students to get quick, immediate feedback to determine whether or not they understand a concept. I've set this one up using our microscope parts and functions to help students determine whether or not they know the functions of a microscope. On the left hand side I have all the parts of the microscope and they simply slide it to the right to determine whether or not they know the function. I could have left some parts on the right and they could have quizzed themselves backwards. So that's all a magic slider does. Now there's a lot of different ideas that you can come up with for your subject matter. For example, if you teach English, maybe you're working on verbs versus irregular verbs. Maybe you're reading a short story or a novel and you want to be able to have students analyze the character and you can put the characters on one side and some of the character analysis traits on the other. If you teach math, you could set up math problems on the left and the answer on the right. Have students work through the problem and see if they get to the right conclusion. Maybe you're working on vocabulary and appropriate definitions. Maybe you're working on opposites or pairings. There's a lot of different ideas that you can use this simple tool for. So the question that we're working on here today is really how do you go about creating this activity? I need to insert a new page to show you how to do that. It's actually quite easy. We're going to be using rectangles to begin with. So you right click on the little square box here, left click on your rectangle, and we're going to select a red outside line with a red inside fill. I'm going to make half of my page red. I'm going to make another rectangle and this time I'm going to make it blue. I'm going to go back to my selection tool and I'm going to try and make these a little bit more equal in size. And I'm going to butt them right up next to each other. Now, I don't want these boxes moving around, so I'm going to right click on them and I'm going to lock them down. At this point, you can create the pull down directions for the slide if you want to. Create your rectangle again. I'm going to give it a black border, not too thick. Remember that sliding tool there determines the thickness of your border. We're going to keep it relatively thin. I'm going to put my directions on a yellow background. I need to put a text box inside of it. And here's where you type your directions. Da 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 da. Okay, you saw my directions on the previous slide, so I'm not going to waste time showing you how to do that. You can highlight that text. Again, you can change the font to whatever you want it to be. You can change the size to whatever you want it to be. And you can change the color to whatever you want it to be. Hit OK. To add an arrow, you right click on the rectangle box, go to lines, arrow with an end. Remember to change the thickness of that arrow to as wide as you want it to be. We're going to be dragging it from above. Okay. You can put a text box in there. With directions. Now you'll notice that it automatically chose my last color 
font and font size from what I was using. So you can change the font again. You can make it smaller. That's maybe a little bit too small. hold down your shift key, select all of those items, right click, group it, and slide it up and out of your way. And now all you have to do is create your pairings. That's quite easy. You take your text box tool, create a text box. Anything that's going to be on your left, you're going to create in red. So, for example, I had the revolving nose piece. And I have that in white, so it wasn't showing up. I apologize for that. And we need to be able to see that. So I need to make that blue. I'm also going to make that a little bit bigger so we can see it. And maybe even a little bit bigger. And there it is. I'm going to make another text box right next to it. And this time I'm going to make my font red. That's the opposite color of what it's going to slide across on. Um, and the revolving nose piece allows magnification selection. Hold down your shift key. Make sure you've got that. Hold down your shift key. Select the other two. Right click those. Group them and now they slide together. Create as many sliders as you want to and your activity is done. It's that easy.